What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first video of the holiday season. I am super excited to get into the holidays. I know it's early. I always post this video in November and I always get a few comments that people are like way too early for this. I agree. I'm really not one to start decorating and stuff for the holidays until after Thanksgiving. That's just how my family's always been. But I do know that around this time is when people start thinking about holiday gifts and my family starts asking me if there's anything I want or need for holiday gifts. So I like to get this video up a little bit early for you guys so that it can be some inspiration for you. So obviously this is going to be my 2022 Christmas gift guide, Christmas wish list whatever you wanna call it. And I myself am a 24 year old living on my own, working full time, young adult, if you will. So I kind of want to give others in my same situation some ideas. I will say I'm definitely not asking for all of this stuff. In fact, I'm not asking for most of this. I will tell you guys what I do plan to ask for, but these are just some ideas. These are some things that I have and I love or that I would love to own one day and buy for myself. There's all those disclaimers. This is definitely not what I'm expecting or asking for, but I just wanted to give everyone some ideas who needs it. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe. Join our little family that we have over here on the internet. I make this video every year and you guys always seem to love it. I'm going to break things up into like price points. So under 20, under 50, under 100, and then we'll do like some more expensive stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop in to our Christmas gift guide. So first up in like the no amount category, I'm gonna get this out of the way, but gift cards and bill payments. This is so boring, but it really is really valuable for someone of my age. To be specific, Starbucks gift cards, Target gift cards, gas gift cards, things like that are really, really helpful for someone who is kind of newly on their own, you know, a few years post-grad. It just can take some relief off of them month to month. What I'm actually asking for for Christmas kind of related is student loan payments. So I do have some student loans left. And if you watch my vlogs, you guys know that I really, really want to pay these off, you know, in a quick time frame. So this year I'm asking for a couple people to make some extra payments on my student loans for me. Instead of them going out and buying me gifts, I am going to ask them to make a payment on my student loan. Like I said, not super exciting, but it is realistic. And that is what I want because at the end of the day, month to month, I can usually buy myself things if I want them, but making these extra payments on my student loans will be super helpful for me. And you could do the same thing if you have any other type of loan, credit cards, or even, you know, rent, for example. Starting with the things under $20, first up is candles. Everyone loves candles. They're a great gift. I feel like a lot of me and my friends give them for birthdays and stuff, and I feel like you can just never have enough candles. So Bath & Body makes some affordable candles. Target it has really good candles these days. Second up on that list is an electric lighter. I have two of these. I absolutely love them. It prevents that moment where your lighter runs out of fuel because you literally can just recharge it. So I absolutely love electric lighters and they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. Third up is a wick cutter. To me, a wick cutter is more of like an aesthetic thing, kind of decorations, but they can be practical as well. So that could make a really nice gift right there. You could do a candle with an electric lighter and a wick cutter and that would be the cutest little gift for like a friend or something or even stocking stuffers really good stocking stuffers and lastly for under twenty dollars i have decorative trays so you can usually get these at a pretty affordable price maybe home goods tj maxx but also amazon and trays are just something really nice to have around your apartment you can stick a candle on them you can put your remotes and your coasters on them on your coffee table they just elevate the style just a little bit instead of having things sitting directly on a table or a counter, you can have them on top of a tray. And I know I haven't mentioned this yet, but I will have all of this stuff linked down below. Like for trays, I'll link a couple affordable ones so that you guys can check everything out. Okay, let's go between 20 and $100 now. First thing up is a pajama set that I have two sets of already, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's from Amazon. It's like 20 to $30 and it's like a silk satin set, but it is easily the most comfortable pajamas I have ever owned. I want it in every single color. I asked for this for Christmas last year and I got another color in them. So would absolutely love another pair. They last up really well. They wash well. 
they're literally amazing for the price and they are so so cozy next up is sneakers i found a couple pairs under a hundred dollars one of them is the new balance 574s another one is the nike blazer like low top shoes and then i also have found some air maxes for under a hundred dollars so there's lots of really cute sneaker options for under a hundred dollars either for the gym or literally just to style them next is a nice wine glass set or cocktail glass set I found some really, really cute ones on Amazon, especially if you have a bar car or somewhere where you can set them out. I think it's so fun to have like an aesthetic drinkware set. Next up, I have a security camera. I have one in my kitchen and I love it because I have a dog. And so it's perfect just to check in on him if I'm gonna be gone for more than a couple hours. And it just makes me feel safe and secure. So if you live alone or if you live even with a roommate or something, or you have a pet, having a camera is a really nice thing to have. Next up, I have Skims bodysuits, really Skims anything, but I can vouch for their bodysuit. I have a couple of them and they are so worth the hype. They really just suck you in. They're usually under like 60 bucks and they are so soft, comfortable, wash well, and I really, really suggest them. Next up, I have a good water bottle. So this could be like a hydro flask or a Stanley cup or even a Yeti, whatever you prefer. I recently have a Stanley cup. I know you guys have probably heard of them. They really are good. Having that nice big handle is so nice to carry around but I've always been a lover of Hydro Flask. So if you don't have a good like emotional support water bottle to carry around with you, definitely check one out for Christmas. Sephora has a lot of really great gift sets on their website for the holiday season. So one of them that I think is perfect is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask set. I think it comes with like four or five of the different scents or flavors or whatever you want to call them of their sleeping mask. I love their sleeping mask. I use it every night, every morning. And so I really want the set so that I can try out their other scents without committing to like the full size because right now I've only tried the original and the vanilla. Love both of them, but I would love to try their other scents like the gummy bear one and all the other ones they have. They also have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Light Wand set on there, which is the bronzer and the blush, which have gone viral all over TikTok. So I definitely would love to try those out. Again, without committing to the full size, you can get the set for a really good price and be able to try both of them out. And then another set from Savora that I would love to try is the Bum Bum Jet Set set <laughs> it's the bum bum cream and the i think either the body wash or the perfume i'm not sure which one again something that i've heard so many people rave about but i haven't wanted to commit to like the full size without trying it first so having a set is such a good way to try something again really great stocking stuffers or however you want to do it another really good thing to ask for is just your staple beauty products in general so you could ask for a nice shampoo i love the way detox shampoo you can ask for a nice makeup remover i love the pharmacy green clean i use it every single day you can ask for spf wearing spf is very important my favorite is the super goop glow screen also self tanner which is something i literally run out of monthly so getting a good restock on that for christmas is a good idea i love the bondi sand self tanner in ultra dark and then any other beauty products you've been wanting to try or you already love for example the rare beauty blush is only 20 dollars and it is so good so that would be a great gift for somebody i absolutely love it or even the charlotte tilbury flawless filter some people use it as a foundation some people use it as a primer that's something I've been wanting to try. So it's something I would maybe ask for for Christmas so that I can give it a shot since I've heard such great things about it. But basically restocking on your favorite products, getting new products that you really wanna try and just other staples, I think is always a good idea when asking for Christmas presents. So now we're gonna go up in price a bit. We're gonna do from $100 to like $500. So I know that's a pretty big range, but somewhere in there. First up is flare leggings or yoga pants. When I was in middle school, high school, we called them yoga pants. I think now people call them flare leggings, whatever. I really want a pair from either Lulu or even the split 59 ones, which look super flattering and they're right around hundred dollars. So I think that is a really good quality item that would last you a long time. In the same realm, some house shoes or house slippers, specifically the Ugg ones. I have a really cute pair. I'll link for you guys. They're like platform and they're super flattering. I will say size up. I think they run a little small, but they're comfortable, they're flattering, and it just kind of elevates your style when you're literally just walking around your apartment. 
Also Birkenstocks, I am a huge Birkenstocks girl. I've gone through so many pairs, specifically the like traditional Birkenstocks, you know, not the Boston ones, but the traditional ones. If you don't have a pair of those for summer, you need them. They're super cute just to throw on, to go to the beach, go to the pool, and you can even style them up to make them look cute with a dress or jeans or whatever. I know the Boston ones are super popular right now, so if you want those, you could also ask for those, which are like the closed toe Birkenstocks. I do think those are pretty cute and it's just so crazy because I remember in eighth grade for me they were super popular and now here I am at 24 and they once again are back and super popular. I think a nice robe is a really really good gift as well. Skims has quite a few options but I've also heard really good things about the Barefoot Dreams robe. A nice quality robe to lounge in in your apartment with your new Ugg slippers would be perfect. Ugg also has a really good robe. I actually have the Ugg robe and it's super soft. So that's like a few brands right there who have really good quality robes. Next up, perfume. I've heard really good things about the replica scents. I haven't tried them myself, but I have heard some good things about them. You can also go with some more classic scents like the Chanel or even like the old timey Juicy Couture. I still love that scent. I know once again, it's an old one, but I think it's a good one. Also in the beauty realm is the Shark Flexile Hair Dryer. If you watch my vlogs, you know I just got this. I'm obsessed with it. It makes me feel like my life is so much more together because after I wash my hair now, I just automatically blow it out. It's super quick. This is what I did this like last night and I haven't even touched it up at all. It just makes you look like you're put together and it's really easy to do. It gives you like that salon style blowout, but you can do it at home and it's like a fraction of the price of the Dyson Airwrap, but it's literally the same thing. So the Shark Flex style. I recently got some new gym headphones. I finally invested in like a nice pair. So the Beats Pro, they're really small. They kind of remind me of AirPods, but they fit really perfectly in your ear and they have great noise cancellation. My boyfriend loved them so much after he tried mine on that he got his own pair. I would say they're comparable price-wise to iPods. iPods? I I would say they're comparable in price to AirPods, but I do think the quality is higher. Next up for some more home stuff, I have a Nespresso on here. So if you don't have like a nice coffee machine at home and you're a coffee drinker, a coffee lover, I think a Nespresso is a really good like middle tier option. It's not cheap, but it's not crazy expensive like another coffee machine I'm gonna tell you about. And it makes really delicious coffee. I also use it to make like espresso martinis, lattes, cappuccinos, everything like that it can do. And again, I think it's a good price. They have really good customer service for shipping pods. And I've had mine for years now and it is still holding up amazing. So it's a perfect like middle tier coffee machine. Next up for home and kitchen, I have a nice pots and pans set. I asked for this for my birthday this year and it's just nice to have a matching set of pots and pans that work well together. So I will link down a couple options down below. I'll link the one I have and then some other ones that I looked at. But if you have like really old pots and pans like I did and then you get a new set, it's such a game changer. It actually made me not hate cooking because not everything was sticking to every crevice of my new pans. If you don't already have a cordless vacuum, you are missing out. You need a cordless vacuum. I have a dog and I watch dogs all the time on Rover and I absolutely love my Shark. It's like a quarter of the price of the Dyson and it works so well. It, the charge lasts for like 40, 45 minutes. It might take me 15 minutes to vacuum my whole apartment. And before I had this cordless vacuum, I had one with a cord obviously and it was so annoying having to unplug it, move it to like the kitchen, or I'd be vacuuming in the kitchen and then it would come unplugged. You know how that is. I know you know. If you don't have a cordless vacuum, I promise it's like the littlest thing, but it's such a game changer. And lastly, in our $100 to $500 section is a nice suitcase set. So like a large one and then a carry-on size. You can get these at so many different price ranges, but having a nice suitcase is just such an adult thing to ask for and want. I think it just makes you feel good. When you're about to travel, it makes you feel like you have your life together. So a nice suitcase is a really, really good gift. Lastly, I have just two things on the like over $500 budget area. These are not things I'm asking for. These are things that maybe one day I'll wanna buy for myself, but just some ideas for you guys. First up is the Apple headphones. I honestly can't decide if I want these or not, but I know a lot of people love them. So I thought I would include them on my list. 
if you're thinking about it, Christmas is a good time to ask for them or you can ask for a gift card to Best Buy or something to kind of help you put money towards them. And then lastly is the coffee machine I mentioned earlier, which is the Breville. The full name of it is the Breville Barista Touch Espresso Machine. I love coffee. If you watch my vlogs, you know I drink multiple a day. You know, I started with like the Keurig and then I graduated to the Nespresso. And so now I want a Breville. It is a very expensive coffee machine, but if you're someone like me who really doesn't buy coffee out that often, like I, you know, am trying to budget and be good with my money. So I really don't buy coffee out often. I would say less than once a week, like not even once a week. So I feel like I deserve to have a nice coffee machine at home. I love my Nespresso. It's gonna last me probably another few years to be honest. But in the future, I definitely plan to invest in a bigger, more robust coffee machine. So that is all my Christmas wish list ideas that I had for you guys. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you are asking for anything in particular. I would love to know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Make sure to check out the links where everything is linked below. Send this to your parents, whatever you got to do. And with that being said, I will see you all so very soon in my next video. Bye guys.